What is up, people? Smithers R, aka Smithers to the motherfucking R, aka Smithers R rated here today. <clears throat> here today. To give you blood, lad. Episode 6 motherfucking review. I know, I know, guys. I know it's late. But, what can I say? Burned bur out my candle too fast or some shit, bullshit like that. Fuck it. Why not? Anyway, it's out. It's, I'm doing it right the fuck now, so calm the fuck down. Or whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. Fuck. Anyway. Oh my god, bro. This nigga stands pulled a Goku, bro. This dude. This dude tried to pull a Kamehameha. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh my god, yo. <laughs> okay, let's explain this episode, okay? So it starts off, Fist comes down, basically he's free to go now from the jail, and his brother's like, basically, they're talking to him, fucking Staz, and of course his brother Braz, they're fucking talking, and basically it was like, don't forget our promise, oh great, now I gotta go fight this motherfucker, and the entire time, Wolfman is fighting with, of course, this fucking monster, Azium, I believe is his name, Azium, and this dude, Fucking spatial magic claw coming through and shit. I'm like, damn. Damn. And then spatial magic, he puts his arm right through and about to grab this nigga. And this nigga breaks that shit. He like grabs it the fuck around. And it doesn't do sh Dude comes out there and fucking like attacks him. Because it doesn't do shit. Because apparently his, his body isn't actually his body. He is just a manifestation of magic, like a phantom. And so, it doesn't matter if you break his bones because he's not moving his muscles with, like, nerves and shit. He, what he's doing is, he's just moving the body. The, like, the, the individual, like, pieces of the body like it's nothing. So, it doesn't matter if you break the bones or not. Because, in a sense, it's just magic holding him together. Then Wolf Boy goes full wolf mode because apparently he released all that magic that he had inside of his staff and it wrapped around him. But apparently, when the magic is outside of his body, he turns into a wolf. But he can only do it for three minutes because he's a mongrel. And so he basically goes in that mode, fucking fight, cutting shit up, tearing shit off, cut this nigga's head off. In comes fucking Staz. Like, oh my god, I wish I had a cape and a fucking jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga jumps off a fucking cliff right into North Eam world and this is when that shit that's when shit gets real <laughs> Saz falls through wolf boys run out of magic dudes putting himself back together basically talking about how beautiful and how fragile wolf boys fucking ability is is how his fucking magic is and how his form is and all that shit and then basically st basically Staz just fucking zing like fucking like one of them here like this, like BAM Do goes flying back. Then basically Staz and Wolf Boy are having a nice conversation. Then it's like let's tag out. And the entire Nah fuck it. I'm just gonna focus on the fight, then I'll get to the other stuff. Okay, and then in comes Staz. He's in this fucking deserted large ass fucking deserted area. And they're fucking fighting. And they're it's not like it's a it's a weird fight, kind of. I mean, it's like damn. Basically, they're just fucking stars, bro. Stars. Basically, he's stars is just fighting like his normal self. Like he's not putting much effort into it, and he's he's really fucking powerful. He's like fucking doing swipes with his hand and fucking yellow magic is just fucking running down I'm like damn fucking explosions of yellow magic just coming up magic circles everywhere I'm like damn bro this dude's going hard you know what I'm saying nigga does it well cause what happens is um uh, I'll ex fuck it I'll explain it what happens what's happening now with um the other people is of course Bell who's fucking spatial fucking teleporting bitch yeah she's there and basically she takes Franken away to talk to him into this isolated room and he's like she's like you know and she's questioning him and asking him questions about what's going on why is this you know it's like why is he it's fucking weird ass thing basically he just sees her there and then she just comes back 
Well, of course, that girl is fucking giving that, that belly rub, and he's like, ah. She comes back out of nowhere, puts a magical fucking frame on the fucking window, and then teleports so they can watch the fight. And they're watching Saz go boom, 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 just fucking explosions and shit. <laughs> then, then this nigga goes, okay, you're right. Calm, eh? And he starts foaming the fucking ball. I'm like, ah! This dude's fucking crazy, bro. This dude's crazy. It was the shit, bro. It was the shit. Fucking Goku reference. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then basically, this is when shit gets really real. Basically, Staz gets punched in the face and goes flying back, and he's like, you're a third-rate fucking fighter, and Fumi's up in that bitch, and she's so fucking stunned that the nigga was about to pull a Kamehameha. <laughs> Shit. And so what happens is pretty fucking, like, damn. Staz is like, you did not just respect Goku. He's talking about how his moves are all dirty, and he didn't give a fuck about them. They weren't beautiful. He's like, okay, why don't I fuck you up with my own fucking move? And the fuck starts powering up. You know, Bell, of course, she fucking closes that shit. She's like, uh uh, this fight's about to get fucking real. Yeah, I ain't about to watch that shit. You fucking tripping. That, this nigga's about to fuck shit up. You think I want to have a portal leading to me when this nigga's about to fuck shit up? Hell no. Nah. And then. They, this is when stuff gets damn. This dude's fucking powering up. You can see like these, this like fucking hand like, fucking behind him and fucking eye in the middle finger. I'm like, damn, bro. And just walking up. I'm like, oh, nigga, fucking. Uh, all you see is like um, all you see is like a crater, and then it's a flashback of what he did. And this dude like fucking like, uh, and then boom. A motherfucking giant ass explosion, like fucking of just pure magic. I'm ah, the fucking fight was amazing, bro. It was, this dude, had, and basically he's holding his fucking head, like bitch, you ain't done yet. It's like I'm out of magic, bitch, you ain't fucking done yet. Put yourself back together. The dude puts himself back together. It's like time to finish you out with my favorite move. And nigga goes Chush. about you know like, you know, he's about to use his heart grab, but it's is full power heart grab. Oh my god. A, you can see a fucking hand of magic circling around this dude along with his heart. And then he fucking crush. Ring falls off. Nothing left. And then of course there's a scene with of course Belle fucking te teleporting bitch. And she's talking to Franken and she has the dude's body like each of his individual body parts stuck in like fucking jars because she cut him up by basically using her spatial juice but facial fucking magic so like when he came down because she knew what he's gonna do she used her thing and then the second that half his body went through she cut it in half and so the dude was separated and then it's like ah so that explains it and then Franken basically explains how he got it how he got the magic and basically she gets a little hint to who might have stolen her magic. Basically, he got a fucking present from Santa Claus. Fucking on his fucking doorstep. Like, damn. And it had the body of, like, a spatial magic user inside of it. And he used that to complete him. And, of course, there's a little thing with... Akim, that fucking monster. And he's basically amazed because he didn't know that anybody else had a spatial fucking magic like he did. So he was amazed by that. And she's like, it was mine originally. So, that was another little key thing in there. And, of course, Daz's brother and sister come there. They show up. Fucking, you're guilty of multiple crimes of destroying the peace. Fucking fist. Boom. Nigga, they're in jail now. Fuck it. This is when stuff gets really, really good. Fucking, it's Wolf and Staz, and we get a little backstory about him. And, of course, Wolf's, like, going full mode. He wants to fight Staz gets beaten fucking easily. We don't even see the fight. He just gets beaten easily. And then we get a flashback about how Staz, when he ran away from home, he fell down into Wolf's territory. And there's like, if you fight, he's like, I want to go to Japan. <laughs> right away from home. I want to meet, oh my god, what was the name? He dropped the name. 
Oh my god, he dropped a fucking name. Oh my god, hold on. I'm finding that fucking name he dropped. Oh yeah, I think I found it. I ran away from home. I want to go to Japan. Huh? I want to meet Hayu Miyakazi. <laughs> he wants to meet Hayu Miyakazi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's make sure. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, hi, hey yo. Damn it. Yeah, hey yo Miyakazi. And I believe. Yep. Let's see. Oh my god, what the, let's see what this dude does. Because I believe. Let's see. Oh my god, that's the dude that made fucking Spirited Away? Oh my god, that was my shit. Oh my god, that was my shit, bro. This dude is real fucking good. Oh my god. Oh, Puss in Boots. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be... So he wants to meet basically a manga, professional manga writer. And go to Japan and meet him. And then basically fight, they fight. It's like, I'll give you money. You need money to go to Japan. I'll give you money if you beat me in a fight. And then the entire time, Staz is fucking on the back and fucking getting his ass whooped. And Wolf's boy is like, why aren't you fighting back? It's like, I give up. Why the fuck aren't you fighting? This isn't a fight. It's like, and then it goes into this deep thing where Staz is so powerful even back then that he can say, that he knew we could kill Wolf like that. He didn't want to do that. And even today, it's like, Wolf Boy's like walking away and he's like, we'll meet again and this next time we'll fucking settle this. And Staz is like, I will never fight you at my full power because you're my friend. And so more character development between Wolf Boy and fucking Staz, so hell yeah. It was it was good shit. Then in comes the brother, they get fucking teleported there by, of course, the girl who, with the portals, Belle. And Basically, you want to know how re human rights reckoning works, right? Don't you, Saz? Okay, well, first I'm going to have to meet this girl. And that's a good friend you got there. And so now, next episode, we're going to meet... Braz is going to meet Mayumi. Or F Fiumi. Yeah, Fiumi. And so that should be very interesting. But episode overall, oh my god, do fucking pull the Goku. I know, I know, I know. I'm not giving this episode the necessary hype that it deserves. Because I'm like, ah... Uh, I'm I'm chilled out right now. I just got done taking a nice fucking relaxing ass shower. I'm chilled to the fucking max. But damn though, this nigga pulled that fucking Goku. That was epic. And that fucking explosion of magic, this dude was definitely fucking crushed. I thought he fucking crushed him to nothingness. But no, apparently he fucking teleported away, so that was kinda of bullshitty. Like so we still don't know what that fucking what that would do to somebody, but damn. Damn. Staz. And apparently his brother said, now he's strong enough so that he can do it. And so there's something that Braz and Staz, that there's something that Braz and telling Staz that might be going on. That's, that's my opinion of it. Because I don't think he, saw, he was talking about the monster. I think he was talking about something else. Because he finally saw Staz's power and he's like, damn. That's my bro. That's my brother. With that being said, I'll give this episode. You know what? Even though I'm all chilled out, I had a much different expression while watching this shit. <laughs> just I'm too chilled out right now to really, to really do that. I'm just chill. I'm just, uh, I'm just relaxing, giving you guys a nice little smooth walk through the shit, which is kind of rough. It's fuck it. But anyway, I'll give it. I'll give it an, just for the Goku thing, 9 out of fucking 10, hell yeah, it was a pretty um, amazing episode of Blood Lad, hell yeah, it, fucking hype, fucking fighting, answers, all that shit, friendships, all that shit, bonding, so fuck it, it gets a 9 out of 10, it was an amazing episode for Blood Lad, hell yeah, the, the fighting, hell yeah, finally some fucking good ass fighting. That being said, I know, I know, I know, this review isn't like how I usually do things with my heightness, and, but it's one of those things that, I don't know, I'm just too chilled the fuck out. Like, I just got 
relax so I can make a couple more videos. So fucking comment down below what you thought about the episode. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe for more. Anyway, see you later, my motherfuckers. Ha! <laughs>